On the heels of purchasing land for economic development just outside of Prestonsburg, Floyd County officials are now talking about making another land purchase they say will make both deals better in the long run. Just like the Thunder Ridge project, it's an AML grant as well. We've been years, two, three years, trying to get that, that one closed. We're hoping to close on it here in the next 60 to 90 days, and, and we certainly think this lot is going to complement what we're doing there. It's just a, another addition to our inventory. But uh, we, we think that that AML process is going to be streamlined and we'll be able to get the funding out quicker. I wish I could give you a time frame, but it's all contingent on how quick that, those grant funds become available. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The movement to buy the Old Thunder Ridge location comes after the state approved $10.2 million Thursday for site and building development for three counties across the Commonwealth. The other two are Perry County and Caldwell County. We have businesses that are always contacting us, wanting to locate or look at potential sites in Floyd County in this area. And uh, we just don't have the locations readily available. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir gave the green light on the development funds, hoping to set up what he has referred to as long-term economic success. The site will eventually be called the Thunder Ridge Industrial Business Park. Uh, 2380 Mountain Parkway, you can be to Cleveland, Ohio in six hours, you can be to Atlanta, Georgia in six hours, you can be to, you know, the East Coast in six to eight hours. So we're, we're in a good central location and we have a good workforce and we certainly think that uh, these coal miners coming out of these coal fields, uh, they're, they are equipped to handle about anything. Next steps now will be for the Floyd County Fiscal Court to actually lay claim to the 50 acres the racetrack once sat on with their part of the $10.2 million, amounting to $5 million in total funds, with $2 million of that coming from the state. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Cumpton.